Hello class, in this um, video, I'm going to be talking about um, normal probability intervals as discussed on page 258 of your text. So in your text, they give us an example. And in this example, they're telling us that the United States, um, um, the, the, the the author researched um, many cities in the United States and found that the annual snowfall amounts in Minneapolis, Minnesota from 1884 to 2012 tended to follow a normal distribution with a mean of 46.3 inches, which is ridiculous amount of snow, and a standard deviation of 18.4 inches, right? And they give you a histogram in the book and it follows a normal distribution. And so he goes on to ask, what is the probability that the snowfall will be um, between 30 and 70 inches. So greater than or equal to 30, but less than or equal to 70. So I took the liberty to go ahead and draw this out. And so if this is the mean, the mean is the 46.3. And what is the probability that the snowfall is gonna be between 70 and 30 inches? What, what this essentially is asking us to do is to find the area under the curve, right? Between 70 and 30. So. Basically, this is really equal to the probability that X is less than or equal to 70, right? Minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 30. And that's how we're going to solve this problem. So um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to first solve probability that X is less than or equal to 70. And then we're going to solve for the probability that X is less than or equal to 30 to give us the difference, right? So we know that in the first scenario, the probability that X is e less than or equal to 30 is equal to, I'm sorry, 70. It's the 70 minus the 46.3 over 18.4. And that gives us um, 1.29, right? That is the z-score. And then for the probability of um, x less than or equal to 30, we're going to have the 30 minus the 4.63 over 18.4. And that's going to give us a negative 0.89 as our z-score. You cannot take the difference between these two things to find the probability. You then have to look up the probability that Z, right, is less than or equal to 1.29, which we're going to do with the table, and the probability that Z is less than or equal to point, negative 0.89, right? And so when we look these two probabilities up, we find that the probability... Um, that um, the Z is less than or equal to 1.29. That is equal to a 0 0.9015. And the probability that uh, Z is less than or equal to 30. I mean, sorry, less than or equal to negative 0.89. And again, the tables for this are in the very back of your book and the appendices. But this is equal to a 0.18. Six, seven. We then take the difference between these two scores, right? So we know that the probability that X, I'm sorry, oh, I keep trying to erase with my finger, can't do that. This is not a whiteboard. All right, X 30 and 70. Now it's equal to the 0 0.015. And I'm using the X and the Z's interchangeably. And this is the same thing as Z is less than or equal to 1.29 and negative 0.89. All right. So it's equal to 0 0.0, 0 0.9015 minus 0 0.1867. And that gives me. Um, a probability of 0.7148. Again, I'm supplementing what is in your book with um, this video. So please read your book. 
um, watch the video. And if you have any questions or concerns,